right, feet set, got it. Yeah, relationship with Modi is um, pretty, pretty tight. I think, I remember when I first got here, I don't think he really saw that much. He was like, oh, it's another, another guy. Uh, but yeah, pretty quickly, uh, really took me under his wing and um, he's been in my ear almost three years now. I go to him for advice even off the court now. It's not even just about basketball. It goes beyond that and um, you know, it's pretty special and as weird as it sounds, this is like a coach that I can't lose. Yeah, the phone call with the Boomers, it was quick, probably because I just wanted to hang up real quickly and start screaming. There's something you grow up wanting to do and the first time you put it on, it's just a different feeling. You, know, you hear about the culture and to actually live it, it's just like, man. Like there's, there's literally nothing like it. I just want to keep being a part of it. Confidence is a lot. I'm going away with the Boomers, took it to probably another level, and now I kind of feel like I belong. Shannon Scott stole it away, but McDowell White stole it back for three. Got it! Oh, dear. I want to build that consistency of just being the guy. Oh, oh my glory. We are sitting on a show here. We've got some balls in the family. A lot more kids to come through, hopefully. Mum was a basketball player herself, but Dad was really a driving force. Him growing up, sport was kind of his way out. You know, he didn't have the easiest childhood at all. He used that to make our lives easier as kids, and you know, that's something that we want to do in return now. And yeah, hopefully, he just put his feet up in the next couple of years.